by the Harrison Post, the NFL was ranked the favorite sport of fans, claiming about 35% of all votes. So that's a pretty big margin considering there are other widely renowned sports, such as basketball, baseball, soccer, hockey, golf, etc. So um, football has been and continues to be the most popular sport in America for the past 30 years and counting. Um, football can be identified with many things, such as football itself, uh, the Super Bowl, those corny Super Bowl commercials, uh, famous players like Marshawn Lynch and Drew Brees, or simply a jersey in my case. I am part of the football culture. Uh, I'm credible to speak about this culture because I've been playing the sport for the past five years and I've grown accustomed to it. Through this culture, I have learned many valuable skills that help me not only on the field, but in life. So hopefully by the end of this presentation, you all will have a better understanding of the impact football has had on my, on my life. Um, so first I'm going to talk about these skills, then I'm going to talk about how I identify with this culture. So, um, excuse me, sorry. So in order to play football, uh, there are three valuable skills that one must learn and practice in order to succeed. So first, I'm going to talk to you guys about communication. Communication is essential in any sport. Uh, through communication, you can solve problems, you can fix mistakes, you can teach, you can learn, um, you can motivate, and you can lead. So communication is key. The second, the second skill is selflessness, which goes with teamwork. Um, now you're part of a team, so you're basically part of a family. Uh, you can't be selfish. You have to put the team before, you, before yourself, the team's motives before your own motives, and the team's glory before your glory. The third skill is relentlessness. Uh, this is a valuable skill in life. Uh, so uh, no matter, in football, no matter how big you are, no matter how fast you are, no matter how strong you are, you're going to get knocked down. It's inevitable. Um, we're taught to get back up, continue to fight, continue to push until that last whistle, until that last buzzer sounds. So this is applicable to life. Uh, in life, you're gonna face obstacles, you're gonna have setbacks, but you just gotta get back up and keep pushing until you like finally achieve your goal. So um, I identify with this culture because it connects me to many new people. Because because football is such a popular sport here in America, it's pretty easy to find people with, with the same common interest. So a um, personal example would be, I'm a freshman here at Cal State LA, and um, this being a commuter school, it's pretty difficult to make new friends. So I, um, I signed up to play intramural flag football with the fraternity Sigma Nu. And um, from there, it was really easy to, to make new friends and grow bond with people I hardly knew just because we shared the same common interests. So I guess you could say football brings people together. So by now, uh, by now hopefully you have a better understanding of what this jersey symbolizes and what the culture it represents. First I talk to you about the values that the values and skills that it has taught me and how I identify with the culture. So I think all sports can teach can teach anybody like lessons and valuable skills you could use in life and in this case mine is football. Thank you.